Uh, hi guys, welcome to our channel. Uh, well, we are reacting tonight to Supernatural Season 2 Episode 8. Uh, the title of episode is uh, Crossroad. Crossroad or Crossroads Blues. Most important thing, uh, if you are watching our reactions, you should turn on subtitles at the beginning of our reaction because this is basically <laughs> Or probably the only time we will speak in English, the beginning of and the end of the reaction. Stay with us, baby. Dogs, black dogs. But Robert, don't you down me. Architect Sean Boyden plummeted to his death from the roof of his home, a condominium he designed. Hmm. Build a high rise and jump off the top of it. That's classy. When did he call animal control? Two days earlier. Did he actually say black dog? Yeah, vicious wild black dog. The authorities couldn't find it, no one else saw it. In fact, the authorities are a little confused as to how a wild dog could get past the doorman, take the elevator up, and start roaming the halls of the cushiest joint in town. After that, no more calls. He doesn't show up for work. Two days later, he takes a swan dog. You think we're dealing with an actual black dog? Well, Want to know the truth? There was a time where he couldn't even design a pup tent. Hell, 10 years ago, he's working as a bartender at this place called Lloyd's. Complete dive. Right. So what changed? He got me. But overnight, he gets this huge commission, and he starts designing. He starts designing the most ingenious buildings anyone has ever seen. It was like the level of Van Gogh and Mozart. What? It's funny. True geniuses, they seem to die young, don't they? Seriously, is that like some sort of porn site? She was a uh, chief surgeon at the hospital. She's got to be, what, 42, 43? That's pretty young for that job. Youngest in the history of the place. She got the position 10 years ago? Huh. An overnight success 10 years ago. Yeah, we know a guy like that. Hey. Yeah? It's weird. What? Like someone planted these? Crossroads. Middle of all these weeds? These are, uh, what do you call them? Arrow flowers? Yeah. Used for certain rituals, aren't they? Yeah. Actually, summoning rituals. <laughs> so, two people become sudden successes about ten years ago. Right around the time they were hanging out here at Lloyd's. Well, there just happens to be a crossroads. You think? Let's find out. Yeah, let's see. That's deep south hoodoo stuff. He was to summon a demon. Not just summon one. Crossroads are where packs are made. And these people are actually making deals with the damn thing. You know, because that always ends good. They're seeing dogs all right. They're not black dogs. They're seeing hellhounds. Demonic pit bulls. And whoever this demon is, it's back and it's collecting. And that doctor lady, wherever she's running, she didn't run it fast enough. again. I want you to make me the best blues man ever lived. If that's what you want. So, how do we, do we shake on it?
I'm saying there's a, there's a cold references all over his lyrics. I mean, Crossroad Blues, Me and Devil that? Blues, mm -hmm. Hellhound on My Trail. Okay. Story goes that he died choking on his own blood. He was hallucinating and, and muttering about big evil dogs. Oh, now it's happening all over again. Yeah. Mr. Darrow, we know you're in trouble. Yeah, that you got yourself into. But it's not hopeless, all right? There's got to be something we can do. Listen, I get that you boys want to help. But sometimes a person makes their bed and they just got to lie down in it. I don't want to call that demon in the first place. What you do it for? Not really we. Demon didn't leave. I never counted on that. After our deal was done, the damn thing stayed at Lloyd's for a week. Just chatting, making more deals. I tried to warn folks. Who gonna listen to old drunk? How many others are there? Uh, this architect, that no, doctor lady. I kept up with them. They've been in the papers. On. At least they got famous. Who else, George? Come on, think. One more. Uh, nice guy too. Hudson. Evan, I think. Look, you don't. Have to... I call that thing. I brought it on myself. I brought it on them. I'm going to hell, one way or another. All I want is to finish my last painting. Miss you. Better. You know I love you, right? Forever. Of course. Evan, are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. I get going. Okay, I'll call you when I get there. Hey, sweetie. <laughs> I love you too. Evan, please don't hurt me. We're not gonna hurt you, all right? We're here to help you. We know all about the genius deal you made. What? How? Doesn't matter. All that matters is we're trying to stop it. How do I know you're not lying? Well, you don't, but you're kind of running low on options there, buddy boy. Julie was dying. You did it to save her? She had cancer. They'd stopped treatment. They were moving her into hospice. They kept saying, a matter of days. So yeah, I made the deal. And I'd do it again. I'd have died for her on the spot. Did you ever think about her and all this? I did this for her. You sure about that? I think you did it for yourself. Mm -hmm. So you wouldn't have to live without her. Yeah, I but guess what? She's gonna have to live without you now. But what if she knew how much it cost? What if she knew it cost your soul? How do you think she'd feel? You throw George's hoodoo at that hellhound, keep it away from Evan as long as you can. I'm gonna go to the crossroads and summon the demon. Summon? Are you nuts? Maybe a little. But I can trap it. I can exercise it, and I can buy us time to figure out something more permanent. Yeah, but how much time? I don't know, a while. It's not easy for those suckers to claw their way back from hell and into the sunshine. No. No way. I'm not allowed to say no, Sammy, not unless you got a better idea. Dean, you can forget it, all right? I'm not letting you summon that demon. Why not? Because I don't like where your head is at right now. That's why not. What are you talking about? You know, you've been on edge ever since we found that crossroads, Dean, and I think I know why. Yeah, we don't have time for this. Dad. You think maybe Dad made one of these deals, huh? Alonia's not gonna double. Hell, I've been thinking it. I'm sure you've been thinking it too. It fits, doesn't it? I'm alive. Dad's dead. Yellow-eyed demon was involved. 
What if he did? What if he struck a deal? My life for his soul. I think I hear it. It's outside. Just keep him alive, okay? Oh, what brings a guy like you to a place like this? You called me? I was glad it worked. I know all about you, Dean Winchester. <gasps> so you know who I am. I get the newsletter. What are you offering? Me. Well, well, well. You'd sacrifice your life for someone else's. Like father, like son. You did know about your dad's deal, right? His life for yours. No, I didn't make the deal myself, but boy, I wish I had. After you. Such a gentleman. The devil's trap? You got to be kidding me. What? You hear that? No. Where? Right outside the door. I'm not gonna put you out of your misery. Yeah, why not? Because your misery is the whole point. It's too much fun to watch. Knowing how your daddy died for you, how he sold his soul. I mean, that's gotta hurt. You blew it, Dean. I could have given you what you need. What do I need? Your father. I could have brought him back. Oh. Your loss. See you, Dean. It's here. You'll send navigate. Your dad's supposed to be alive. <laughs> You're supposed to be dead. So we'll just set things straight. Put things back in their natural order. And you get ten extra years on top. That's a bonus. Dean? Now you're really trapped. That's gonna hurt. Let me out now. Sure. We just gotta make a little deal here first. You call off your hellhound, let Evan go. Then I'll let you go. I can't break a binding contract. Mm. And by can't, you mean don't want to? Last chance. Evan and his wife get to live to a ripe old age. Go in. Going. Let's talk about this. Okay, go on. Stay inside the circle! Come on, Dean. What are you doing? Oh, you're just gonna go on a little trip? Way down south. Volchem Virtutus. Turgute Virtutum Deo, Deus Celi, Deus Terri, Humilite, Maestati Gloriae Tua, Duplicamus, Ut Ab Amnu, Sucus Broke Gord! In Vito Eternus, Ocus Palacio, Hostis Humane, Humiliare Sopotente, What the hell was that for? Stealing the deal. You know, I usually like to be warned before I'm violated with demon tongue. Evan Hudson is free. He and his wife will live long lives. How do I know you're not lying? My oh, word is my bond. Oh, really? It is when I make a deal. It's the rules. You got what you wanted? Now let me go. Sooner or later, I'm gonna climb out, and skinning Evan Hudson will be the first thing that I do. Never pull that stunt if you knew. Knew what? Where your dad is. You should have made that deal. See, people talk about hell, but it's just a word. It doesn't even come close to describing the real thing. Shut your mouth, bitch. You could see your poor daddy, hear the sounds he makes because he can't even scream. But I send you back there. <laughs>
She was lying. Come on. Is that really what you think? How could he do it? He did it for you. Exactly. How am I supposed to live with that? You know, the thought of him. Whatever he is right now. Yeah. Where'd he spend his whole life chasing that? Yellow-eyed son of a bitch. He should have gone out fighting. That was supposed to be his legacy. You know? Not bargaining with the damn thing. Not this. How many people do you think Dad saved? That's not the point. They're not to be safe because of what Dad taught us. That's his legacy, Dean. He never considered actually making that deal, right? Uh, so, guys, this was our reaction to uh, episode eight. Eight, eight, to episode eight. Um, as I remember, and as we see, this is the first episode where, where uh, the topic is the this crossroads, crossroads deals with uh, demons. Um, basically, I always like this episode because this is the beginning of, again, beginning of something new. Uh, it's interesting that um, people do make these kind of deals. And they have like 10 years to do something they wish for and then they go to hell, basically. So, I mean, I like the episode. Really? Yeah, it was like... High five. Interesting. Not, yeah. not, not so much scary for you. You didn't mm -hmm. jump. Not once. So, and uh, also we... Not, no, we did know that John gave his life for Dean, but in this episode... Dean I know that. Yeah, but Dean finally uh, got confirmation that John really is in hell. I mean, they're like, maybe demon lied, but they know that it, it didn't lie. That, that what hap what's hap what, that what happened. So, uh, yeah, guys, this was our reaction. We like this episode. So, thank you for watching and uh, bye. I'm a poor